Hi, I'm Ira from truthaboutdiamonds.com. Let's go through the four C's uh, that describe what, what the quality of a diamond, and we'll, I'll give you some tips on how to, how to pick the, the prime spot that gives you the best value without sacrificing any beauty of the diamond. So let's start with color. Most stores that sell diamonds today sell diamonds between the range of D, which is most colorless, completely, completely white, to J or K, which is what they call near colorless. So when most people are faced with this range of color from D to J or K, they usually think, wow, with such a big range, I better pick something near the top or else my diamond is going to look terrible. And the truth is, it couldn't be farther from the truth. In round diamonds, if you pick a diamond that's even a J color, it's going to look totally white to the naked eye. In a princess cut, you really you want to stick with I or better to get a white looking stone. And in all the other shapes, you want to stick with an H or better. And you, you'll save tons of money. The difference in, in price between a D color diamond or even an F, let's say, and an I is huge. It could easily be double the value. Now let's move on to clarity. In clarity, most people are presented with the range from flawless down to what's called, let's say, an SI2. SI2 stands for slightly included, and inclusion is an imperfection. So I actually have two examples here of, of two, two blown up images of diamonds. This is an SI2. And what makes this an SI2 is this little imperfection there, there's some stuff over there, and that's it. This, on the other hand, is a VVS1, which stands for very, very slightly included. Um, and even with this huge blown up picture, you can't see anything. That's because a VVS1 is a tiny, tiny dot that can only be seen with a microscope, not even a jeweler's loop, but an actual microscope. And I actually brought two diamonds to demonstrate this. Those blown up pictures are actually the pictures of these, of these two rings. One of these rings is an H color, SI2, which is, like I said, on the lower end of the clarity scale. And one is a G VVS1, which is on the very high end of the clarity scale. It's one, it's one notch away from flawless. And I can't tell the difference between these two different rings. And I have a lot of experience in the business. And no one else, if I can't, no one else could. For sure, not a novice. Now, what's amazing is the difference in price between the HSI2 and the GVVS1 is $5,000 to $13,000. So if you had $5,000 to spend, you could either get a beautiful one carat stone like this, or you could get a, a diamond half the size if you wanted to go for the higher, for the higher clarity or the hot, and the higher color. But it would look the same. So you'd just be wasting your money. The next thing we should talk about is cut. Now cut is, describes the proportions and the angles of the diamond and how it all comes together. Now this is actually the most important thing when you're buying a diamond. You want to get the best cut possible because that's what really determines the, the sparkle and the brilliance and fire of a diamond, which is really what buying a diamond is all about. So next, the, the, the last of the four C's, of course, is carats, and that describes how heavy the diamond is. Now once we've set up the color, the clarity, and the cut according to what I've said, meaning you want to get the lowest possible color there that you can find that's white to the naked eye. You want to get the lowest possible clarity that's still clean to the naked eye. And you want to limit your search to only excellent cut diamonds. Then, of course, what you want to do is find the largest stone you can within your budget. Because the truth is, the most and visually impressive of the four C's is carrots. Because the first thing people see when they see a diamond is not how sparkly it is, it's not the color of it, and it's certainly not the clarity. It's how big it is. If you're wondering which cut is for you, um, that's a question I get often on my site, and the answer I give to everyone is, is the same. That's totally a personal matter of style. You have to look at the stones. Look at the stones and see what you think is beautiful. If a princess cut speaks to you, buy a princess cut. If a cushion cut speaks to you, buy a cushion cut. I can't help you pick which shape. That's totally subjective. It's likewise with the settings, by the way. People ask me all the time, should I get a pavé? Set, set, set ring? Should I get platinum or gold? Should I get a uh, channel set diamonds? That's all a matter of choice. The number one tip, of course, for saving money buying a diamond is you should buy online only. If you go into a fancy jewelry store, the profit margins are tremendous. They're through the roof. They're easily between 50 and 100 percent. But if you go online, the best online stores, the ones that I recommend to, to viewers of my site, they only charge between 12 to 16 percent profit margin. So it's a huge savings right out the door without, work, without doing anything else. Now, of course, buying online can be very risky as well. So you want to make sure to, that you don't get scammed. You've got to focus your search to the biggest sites out there. And again, if you go to my site, there's a whole list with, with full reviews of all, of the big, all of the big dealers out there. But be very careful. If you go to a small site that you haven't heard of, there aren't a lot of reviews, be very careful. And of course, if you're on the web, the easiest thing to do is just to Google search for that site name and reviews, and you'll, you'll get the whole history. There's, there's no hiding on the web. So I, ho I hope you, you can take these, these points to heart. And if you're out there buying a diamond, I, for sure visit us on the website and we'll help you personally if you want. But otherwise, these are some great tips to save a ton of money if you're looking to buy a diamond. Congratulations.